안녕하십니까? 온라인 서절의 김경원. Greetings, I'm Dr. Kim y o n g w o n of Online Surgery. Let's have a look at surgical clip and have a discussion. This is the same patient as the patient I've shown you in January, and the patient is 36-year-old male patient. Because of white implants placed earlier, the patient's chief complaint was peri-implantitis. As you can see, at the time there was constant gingival swelling. Two implants were removed, 7mm and 8mm GBR, a type of socket preservation was done. Sure OS and AOS were used in a layered manner, and OS guide was used for GBR. I plan to place two implants in the area where implants were removed. This is what I've shown you earlier. Before implant removal around the wide implants, you can see alveolar bone loss. When I remove the prosthesis, a gingival swelling can be observed as well as peri-implantitis. You can see tendency of alveolar bone destruction. Implants were removed and bone graft was done. This is immediate post-op CT. Number 37, this is after three months. And during that period, I noticed that the upper teeth were extruded because of prosthodontic reasons. I used anchor screw to intrude these teeth. Intrusion was done about five months later, somewhat Successful intrusion was done, and therefore implants were to be placed. One guide was to be used to place these implants. For number 36, KS3 5.0 by 10 mm implant was planned. I decided to place the implant closer to the nerve because earlier when I removed the implant, I did GBR, but I wanted the implant to be in contact with the post bone. especially in the apex area, to get better primary stability, I plan to place the implant deeper. In number 37, KS3 5.0 by 8.5 implant was planned. I also wanted to place number 37 deeper so that the apex side of number 37 would be in contact with the host bone. One guide was to be used. When I use one guide, I would be able to place implants without causing nerve injury. This is panoramic image before placement and two implants are going to be placed like this. This is after placement. As for number 37, primary stability was favorable, but it was lacking in number 36, so I did not use healing abutment, but I used a cover screw and submerged it. In immediate post-op image, you can see that implant has been placed nicely in number 36 and around the implant, you can see the graft material is being maintained. In number 37, implant has been placed as planned. This is patient's panoramic image. Let's look at how the treatment has progressed. This is when the patient complained of inflammation and bleeding in the gingiva due to peri-implantitis caused by white implants. Implants were causing alveolar bone destruction, so they were removed. And after that, GBR was done using allogenic bone and bovine bone, AOS. Two implants were placed in March this year. After two months. The extruded antagonist were intruded using orthodontic mini screws. After three months, a second surgery was done and temporary provisional was provided. This is after providing final prosthesis. If you look at CT, this is CT taken right after second surgery. You can see that new bone is being formed around the newly placed implants. In number 37, implant has been placed in the desired position. Today, I'm going to talk about the patient who complained of peri-implantitis caused by white implant. This is the patient I've shown you in January. 
the swelling and bleeding in gingiva and based on CT findings, alveolar bone destruction was observed, the white implants were removed and in this area, I decided to place two implants and provide final prosthesis. Let's take a look at the surgical clip. I'm using the prefabricated one guided template. I'm checking the adaptation. I am checking especially around the most distal tooth. Tissue punch is used. This is a white type, so it is gold. I'm using tissue punch to remove the gingiva. Template is removed. Because this is an area where GVR was done, in areas where it does not really fall off, you can use mess to remove the gingiva. I'm planning to place the implant slightly deeper, so I'm using flattening drill to trim the superior part of the bone graft area. Flattening drill is used to prep irregular alveolar bone. Initial drill is used. In number 36, because I'm using guide, in order to prevent heat generation, pumping action is done. This is how initial drilling is done. In number 37, it's the same. Because it is distal free and case, in order to make sure one guide template does not shift, you need to fixate it properly using your hand. 3.5 by 10 millimeter one guide drill is used for number 36. 3.5 by 10 millimeter one guide drill. I am drilling up to 5.0. After that, I am irrigating saline sufficiently on KSBA surface implant. This is a 5.0 by 10 millimeter implant. I'm placing it about 80% using engine. After that, torque wrench is used to position the implant. The primary stability is not really good. It is less than expected. So in number 37, I'm planning to do under drilling. In number 37, 3.5 by 8.5 one guide drill is used. As mentioned, in number 36, primary stability was not as good as anticipated. Therefore, in number 37, I'm not going to do final drilling 5.0 and I'm going to use 4.5 by 8.5 one guide drill to do final drilling. I only drilled up to the 4.5 KS3BA 5.0 by 8.5 implant is being placed after irrigating it sufficiently using saline. The primary stability seems to be much better than number 36. Implant driver and torque wrench is used. Primary stability is much better in number 37 compared to number 36. You can see that it's over 30 newton centimeter. Implant placement position is determined. In number 36, primary stability is slightly lacking. In number 37, smart peg is used to measure ISQ value. It's about 80, 81. So number 37 is not an issue, but number 36, I think it is better to submerge it. Therefore, I use cover screw. I use cover screw for both number 36 and 37. In the area where tissue punch is done, I am just going to do suture. I'm not fully closing it. I'm doing suture and I'm going to wait 
And after that, about three months later, second surgery is going to be done. This is how the surgery was completed. When we use one guide, it is difficult to feel the level of bone quality as we do drilling in number 36 on the apex side in order to get good contact with host bone i drilled up to 5.0 however the primary stability of 5.0 implant seems slightly unfavorable therefore in number 37 i did one step under drilling so up to 4.5 millimeter and implant stability was very good when I use one guide, the tactile sense you get regarding bone quality is slightly less compared to freehand. Therefore, you may need to adjust your procedures considering the situations with adjacent teeth. Thank you for watching.